Howdy y'all, welcome back. If you've been paying attention to any news in the science community lately, or some would call it pseudoscience, others call it science fiction, but based off the amount of articles being published, we can only believe that this has some sort of semblance of believability to it. And these are two topics that directly relate to the old world, at least in my opinion. Now, in today's video, we're going to be looking at roughly 200 photographs of the most unique bridges that I have in my collection. But what I want to discuss with you first is the Superconductor LK99. Now, according to reports coming out, this basically has the ability to harness levitation. Now, at the time being, we're told it's very minimal levitation of very small objects but according to different religions throughout history we know that there are stories there are myths there are legends there are believed biblical tales about levitation and about certain buildings being created with levitation so i find it to be very revealing that we're going down the path of lk99 this superconductor that is showing the ability to be able to lift certain materials and furthermore there's also articles that have come out within the last week or two about something called electric cement basically the idea that the infrastructure of buildings can be imbued with this sort of cement that will give off electricity sort of like a tesla coil built into the foundations of buildings making the building once inside fully wirelessly electrified now if that doesn't sound like any sort of tartarian myth or something that we would have discussed in the old world something we would have seen at one of the world's fairs alongside all of the stories we have about tesla and all of the suppressed knowledge of nikola tesla and all of his inventions and whatnot i find it very interesting that we actually have science today that is proving that we can make electrified cement giving off electricity, giving off the electricity needed to power a building simply from the cement in the infrastructure of the building. If these two stories don't appear to be leading us towards some sort of disclosure about the old world, I'm not sure what is. We can begin to hypothesize other things about the old world. For example, when we see all of the great fires in all of these great cities that had countless trolleys and what appear to be electric wireless lights and things of that nature cities like san francisco and chicago massive cities that have advanced technology seemingly being wiped away and then reintroduced as world fairs years later As we look through this technology and we discuss it and we discuss the possibilities, simply just hypothesis about what could have been in the old world if it was as advanced as it appears to be, a lot of people don't take into mind the overarching effect that this would have on our history. There would need to be moments, things we could pinpoint that would be the moments where these technologies were lost. Now, one thing I've covered before are the X patents or when the patent office of the United States was destroyed and with it hundreds, if not thousands of once in a lifetime patents and creations, the beginnings of the United States, the very technology that shaped our ancestors that we would have inherited from whoever we met in the new world and many of the patents for this technology were either lost or seemingly to cover up the tracks they were resubmitted by other individuals and then they were repatented many years later why i find this to be so fascinating and so important is no matter where we're looking 
whether it's in the 30 or 40 different states that I've included in this video and bridges and the coastlines and the different areas right around the seas and the rivers of those states. But I also have photographs in here from 30 to 40 different countries around the world. And what you'll find is that it's hard to tell one country from the next. And these are all photographs dated to roughly 1845 to roughly 1945. Now, what occurred in the time period directly before 1945 and afterwards, what happened then? We have countries being realigned, we have countries being rebuilt, and we have histories that are rewritten. Looking at the technology, looking at the idea, just the possibility that something like LK-99 or the ability to levitate something into place existed in the old world. And then looking at the concept of making a foundation or making an entire city where the walkways were basically Tesla coils, not coils to the point that you could get hurt, but they gave off enough electricity to power the devices inside and around them. It's absolutely miraculous. This technology is coming to the forefront again today. But anyway, that was just a little food for thought on this night for you. If you'd like to look up the key terms, I will try to leave some links down below referring to the articles, but you can simply type into Google or search on YouTube LK99 and look at the superconductor, look at what it's able to do, and then think about this on a much larger scale or in a way where it was in the old world. This would be seen as miraculous. This would be seen as something that was godlike. This would be seen as not a technology, but a gift from above. And we can also look at the idea of this electric cement and how we can have basically free electricity built into the infrastructure of our major cities, built into the foundations and built into the roadways. And that opens up so many possibilities for free electricity, free cars, free vehicles, bringing the free trolleys back, things of that nature. And it makes you wonder if this did not exist in some capacity in the past. But anyway, to finish out the video, we're going to look at the rest of the 200 bridges that I found to be the most unique in my collection. Hopefully you found this information to be interesting. Hopefully you have a comment to leave because I would love to hear it down below. I thank you so much for being here and I'll see you on the next video.